Welcome back to PJ Jane Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to show you something really simple, but it's really popular. In this video, we are going to create this waving pattern for this men's ring band. I'll show you how to create those patterns and you can custom it into your own design. Are you ready? Let's get started. That's starting from the ring size first and always recommend that you model the size it is exactly of your ring size. In this demonstration, I'm using 16 millimeter. Now we need to know like how many wave on the peak that you like. So I would like to have this one and divide it into 30 two section and then I will have all those points there. I actually don't need all the points but I actually need those three points on the top. Right. So right here let's draw a straight line going up for how whatever how high you want it. And we wanted to making a curve starting snapping into this point, snapping into this end point and bring it down like this. Make sure you don't want to over the ring otherwise it will be cutting inside of the ring so with this one let's go ahead to just mirror to the other side and get something like that i always like to have my ring is nice and and comfortable to wear so i want to give you the fitted on the curve let's say we want to do something really minor for 0.25 in the radius and don't forget to join all of them now once we have it we will divide all of them into 32 sections that means i'm going to have 16 peak so to make it complete i'm simply just going to use a polar array so we click here for polar array center is zero and i want a number for 16 and i should able to get all of this like this don't forget to join them so now this curve let me mark it into the red color will be the wave that we can use we just need to make it into the certain thickness that we want so I would like to have that solid extruded straight and let's say I wanted to have 1.8 millimeter to be one side and the reason I wanted to solid is because I can cut it out in the center much easier instead of try to building just in between those shape and I noticed that this shape is exactly the same with my ring size. So which means on this point right here, there's no thickness. And if that is your case as well, we simply wanted to pick up the extrusion and also the curve and simply just make them a little bit taller, something like this. All right. How many roll you want it is really up to you. I'm going to making a copy starting from this quadrant snapping into that i just want to have two row and one of it i'm going to rotate so the total is 360 and we want to rotate it half of a 16 section so let's do 360 divided by 32 hit enter and we'll have them just rotate right in the middle of the other one okay so let's say we finish that we really like it and I'm just going to boolean union them. Once we finish that, let me just using the align tool to align to the vertical center and just type it zero. So that will back to our construction plan right in the middle. Let's work on the profile. So I'm going to draw a ring roughly about this thick and roughly about this tall. And having that one to align to the center and just type it zero. So take a look on that and see if this is going to be too wide or not wide enough. And we simply wanted to making a copy by the scale it down. And this may be too wide. I make actually want it to be really, really close there. So I'm going to move this one down something like this and going to use the trim command and that's trim this one and this one and then join them together. All right, let's take a look on this profile there. It looks all right, but um, it is a little bit too harsh on all the edges. 
So I'm going to do the radius for 0.6 on the bottom, maybe right here and right here. On the top, maybe this one is a little bit too, maybe this one is a little bit too tall, so we're going to bring down. As also we can protect where that wave is, or if you want a wave come out a little bit, you can do something like that. And I do want it to fit at the edges for something small like 0.25, and we'll get something like this and something like this. Once again, this corner and this corner. All right, so let's take a look on this. We wanted to do the sweep one rail, and this is the rail for our ring. And this is the cross section, and we'll get something like this. We want to trim the one in the middle. So I'm going to create a cylinder, and that's moving it up just a little bit like this. And we wanted to move it up just a little bit bigger than our ring. And we want to extrude it so we'll have something like that. The one in the middle, we're going to pick it up and pull in difference out of this one. All right, so this is will be your ring and uh, double make sure it is the correct thickness. Uh, most of the time, men's ring, you want it to have two millimeter uh, or 2.5 millimeter as the overall thickness. All right, so when I'm looking at this and I'm re looking at the render view, I could assign the material, for example, overall into the yellow color and take a look if they look good. And sometimes uh, people wanted to have a little bit change here. Let's say on the tip or the peak of the mountain there, I want them to be narrower. And when they're coming into the lower part, I want to keep the same thickness. So how do we do that? Let's take a look on this. So that's hiding this and let's come back to the ring that we have. So I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. Let's go ahead to do extrude straight. And we were doing for 1.8 millimeter and that's what we have there. Unfortunately, you cannot turn on the control point. It's because it's a polished surface. So what, what I like to do for that approach, I'm going to working on only one section. So let's draw a straight line, snapping into this point like that. And we simply just want to have that curve and that's a uh, mirror to the other side. And then I simply just want to connecting this part over here. So we are dealing with this triangle and we can extrude it into the solid. And what we need is actually somewhere in between. So we want to do the bowling intersection, this one and this one. So that is the only part that we need. And I also wanted to extrude this one as well. And just move it down and pull in different this one out of this one. So this is the only part we need to deal with. Okay, so now I have this one. Let's do cage edit. And for this one, I want to choose the bounding box. Hit enter and you got 444 and something like that. All right, so now we have this one. We can coming into the front view, pick up those top four over there, coming over here, squish down with your um, gumball for 1D scale. So then we'll get something like this. And if you like the result, you could, let me delete this one, delete the box and all we need to do is pick up those and we wanted to do the polar array and let's do 16 of them then we'll get this shape right there don't forget to bowling unit all of them so then that will be one of the piece again I want to make a copy I can go from any point just typing 1.8 Hit enter, holding my shift, then I will get making that copy over there. And we want to rotate the same number. So we'll get something like this. 
take a look on the render view and see if that is better for you. So I want to bring back the outside of a ring and let's take a look and see if you like it better. It's because we have a little bit extra tweak on it to make it more interesting. What do you think about this ring? Leave in the comments, let me know. It is a starting point, but you can actually create a lot of pattern out of it. And of course, I show a lot more trick and tips in my own course. Check out the course at pjchandesign.com. Not only I give precise demo of how to make a jewelry care design, I also answer my students' questions weekly. Hope you can join us and see you there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.